Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome back to Sally Face Chapter 4. Previously, we did a walkthrough of the apartment, where we found things seemed a little off. Hey Ashley. Sal. I'm so excited to see you. I've missed you so much, you grew taller than me. I, uh, I miss you too, Ash. And you got a motorcycle, I think. You cut your hair. I like it. Thanks. It's easier for riding. I see you change your hair as well. Oh yeah, I guess. Looks rad. Though I do kind of miss the pigtails. Yeah, that was pretty metal. Heh. <laughs> I haven't been out to the lake since the last time we went there together. What's that? I said it's been a long time since I've been to the lake. Me too. It's so nice out there and peaceful. So you and Ben all good now? Yeah, we're good. What's that all about anyway? Stupid sibling stuff. He called me solace because I didn't cry at Grandma's funeral. He said I wasn't human because I never cry and blah blah. Then turned into a big argument, as if I wasn't sad enough about Grandma. Anyway, the point is that we made up and we're okay now. You know, now that I think of it, I don't think I've ever seen you cry. Well, I must be some kind of soulless monster. Gow. You better watch out. We kill monsters like you around these parts. No, you better watch out. This ain't no monster you all want to be messing with. Then it's fine words, Missy. I hope you kissed your mama goodbye this morning. <laughs> Have you been, Sally Face? Been having nightmares. Tell me about the future, maybe aliens. I'm sorry. Are they as bad as before? They're... different. It's hard to explain. I've been losing a lot of sleep because of it. Are you worrying about anything? Sometimes if I'm worried about something or just struggling with something difficult, I get nightmares from that. I've had this overwhelming sense of dread lately. It doesn't make any sense because everything is fine. Everything should be good. Have you been taking those meds? Oh uh, yeah. Well, most of the time. You should take them if they help. I have a cousin that struggles with depression too, and she said the meds she needs, she takes helps her a lot. I guess they do help. But they also make me feel numb inside. At least with the dread, I know it's real. Or at least, really me. I think I can understand that. I just want you to be happy, Sal. You better make sure you call me if you ever need help. Or even if you just need to talk. You know I'm always here for you, right? I know. Thanks, Ash. And I've said this before, but you know you don't have to wear that around me. My face. Your mask. And that's like a part of me now. It's the face I wear in public. The face I wear all the time. I just want you to know that you don't have to wear it. We don't want to. It's just you and me out here. No one else around. Gonna take it off? Are you really back for good? Yeah. You got a problem with that, bucko? I don't know. It was kinda nice with just the boys. Adding a girl to mix sort of froze the whole thing off. Well, you better get used to it because now you're stuck with me. Is that a, is that a date? I miss you, Ash. We all have. It's nice to have you back. <laughs> Good to be back. I've missed you guys a lot. I'm excited to see everyone tomorrow. Where are you gonna stay? With my family for now. I kept my old room just the way I left it. Nice. My dad converted my old room into an office pretty much as soon as I left. That's only because he was making room for Lisa. True. I still can't believe those two got married. And you and Larry are like stepbrothers. Yeah, I'm not fully used to it either. It's weird. But good weird. It's good to see my dad happy again. <laughs> they are adorable together, to be honest. Are you happy? Happy with what? Everything. Life. I don't know. That's a hard question. Even though I've had a hard time lately, I try to find things that make me happy. Things that are worth pursuing. Otherwise, what's the point, you know? Yeah. I'm happy right now. Are you sure you're okay, Sal? 
I'm getting a little worried about you. I don't know. I guess I'm feeling off. It just feels like everything is wrong. What do you mean? It feels like nothing puts me at ease. It's this constant feeling of discomfort like my soul was in line with my body. I just feel like screaming at the sky until it breaks apart. Well? Well what? Let's do it. I don't know. Come on, I bet you'll feel better. Ouch! Well, that's Sally's face's canon voice. Hey, Todd. You possessed demon thing, you? Then again, actually, you may not be possessed yet. Uh, because when we skip forward in time, you are possessed in the, uh, I think it was like an asylum or something. So maybe it occurs later. Hey, you're back from your deal with Alshi already? I don't think it was a date, but yeah, it's a date, dude. Whatever you say, Sal, how'd I go? It was nice seeing her. It's gonna be good to have her back. Indeed. Ashley's a good egg, and our investigations could benefit from the female perspective. Additionally, simply having fresh eyes on our research could prove useful. Speaking of, Larry and I think there's something weird going on in the apartments again. I told that I'd bring you over tonight to check it out. Perfect. So give me an opportunity to test out the new things I've been working on. Give me a few minutes to get ready. Sure. Let me know whenever you're ready to head over. Will do. Sal, I'm sorry dude, please don't blame yourself. Sorry for what? What are you talking about? It's time for me to go. You better not be doing anything stupid. It's too late, I'll be gone soon. Time to see Ron later, this isn't funny. Hey. Larry? Pick up. Pick up the phone, Larry. You better pick up. Oh god, Larry. No, he didn't die this early, did he? Maybe he did, yeah. He looked kind of youngish in comparison to everyone. The dead animal's still there. If this turns out to be a prank and a fake, I'm gonna be really pissed. God sees all. It's more ominous now. Due to the context. Larry! Larry! Where the hell are you? What's going on? No. No! Larry! What did you do? Larry, why? Ash testified against Sally. That's why I was wondering if Ash was a cultist. I was so excited to see Sal. I didn't realize how different he was acting at first. We were hanging out by Wendigo Lake, I started to notice him more. At the time, though, he just seemed sad to me. I thought maybe he had stopped taking his medications. Miss Campbell, at any point during your day with Sal, did you ever feel as if you were in danger of a friend at all? No, sir. It was nothing like that. Sal was one of the sweetest boys I knew. I always felt safe being around him. Till later that night. Can you please explain what you witnessed at the treehouse? It wasn't too long after I got home from the lake that Sal called me. Maybe about an hour or so. He was clearly shaken up and couldn't tell from his voice that he had been crying. He told me that Larry was dead. 
I bade him call 911. I told him that if he did, then I would. And did either of you call 911? No. The boys had me convinced. Since high school, that there was a conspiracy not film involving the police. That they couldn't be trusted. So when against my better judgment didn't make the call. I rode over to the apartments right away. When I got to the treehouse, Sal was acting weird. Talking to himself and pacing back and forth. Because Larry did die in the, the, uh, the treehouse. Obviously he was upset. We both were. But I had never seen him like that before. I tried to get him to calm down, but he kept rambling on about cultists and some impending evil. He said Larry was in the treehouse. I tried to mend the gap in my nerves. I wasn't sure what was going on. If Larry was really dead or if Sal had lost it. I went up to the treehouse, but there was nothing out of place in there except for an empty booze bottle. Have you ever known Sal to be a drinker? Not at all. Sal hardly ever touched the stuff. He once told me that he was afraid to get drunk because addiction runs in his family. And he didn't want to become an alcoholic, so I knew something was really wrong. Larry wasn't anywhere to be seen. And Sal was starting to really worry me. I tried to calm him down and reason with him, but he was not receptive to it. I tried to get him inside, but he wouldn't budge. We got into an argument. It was the only time we ever had argued. I had to walk away from him. I couldn't be around him like that, and I didn't want to make him worse. Before I left, I let Henry and Lisa know that Sal needed help. They said they'd look after him, and I told them that to call me if they needed me. I felt horrible leaving Sal like that. I just didn't know what to do. I wish I would have stayed there. I should have stayed with him. Is this really a confessing against me? I sat by my phone all night until I got the second call. Were they just using her testimony in a way that's twisted against me? That's the question right now. About ten minutes after Ashley left, Todd showed up. He figured something was wrong since I left so suddenly. I wasn't answering his text. He drove over in the van of our gear. I told Tom what Larry did. We both needed time to collect ourselves. Larry was our best friend. The four of us were like family, like I said earlier. What happened to his body? I'm not sure. He's trying to tell me something, but it's all broken up. I think he's having trouble communicating with us. Let's try out the new gear. I think it will help. Hold on. Alright. With the Necrolite modifications, I'm into your guitar. I believe we'll be able to manipulate the spirit realm in some capacity. How does it work? Turn on using that G button there. You'll notice I've added 12 symbols to the neck of your guitar. You made me a guitar hero! <laughs> Play the corresponding notes to activate the symbols. Play as you normally do. Select the group of notes and press J, K, or L to strum one of those notes in the group. Try playing all 12 notes. Hmm. The alphabet. J, K, L. What happened? Todd? Larry? Hello? Rosenberg. Hello, my dear Sally. Who are... Rose? The light from your guitar contains magic from another world. It seems that the prophecy may have been true after all. Uh, what? There isn't time to explain. You must use this power to stop them. The devourers of God have persevered despite our best efforts to stop them. What the hell was that? A ripple across the fabric of reality. It has begun. You must destroy the barrier spells to reach the source and put an end to it. How will I do that? Use the power of the Necrolites. You'll need help from the spirit realm to reveal what is hidden to you. I cannot be of help in this regard as I must remain within the Black Room. Though I can temporarily release your friend Larry from that which binds him, he will be your eyes on the other side. 
Godspeed, dear Sally. Did Larry purposely get himself somehow transported? It's kind of like a never realm, I guess. To be like a diplomat. Sal. Huh? You scared the crap out of me. It disappeared and there was an intense sound that checked the treehouse. Where were you? I, uh... I guess the guitar worked. I saw Rosenberg. She said the cult is back. We need to stop them before. Whoa, Nelly. That's about as back as I can be. What the hell? How did... Larry. A little worse for wear. Larry. I think Rosenberg is helping us somehow. I was stuck in that damn tree house so long. It's only been a few hours since you... You, you asshole. How could you do this? Why'd you leave me? Why? I'm sorry, dude. I really am. We don't have much time. Rose said the cult is here now and has to be stopped tonight. It's not gonna be easy. I just can't believe this is real. I can't believe you're really gone. Come on, Sal. Let's take these fuckers out once for all. Ah, so he massacred the cult. But then they just trumped it up because they, they're not gonna be like, Oh, the young boy murdered his cult in the basement. <laughs> They'd be like, Oh, he murdered his best friend when they arrest him. This can't be good. Switch to Larry. That's interesting. Always some rose and burn. Let's leave this dead and press R to squeeze it tightly and summon the power from within. Let's use this ancient relic to assist Sally. What does it do? Hello? Good enough. We have to, like, destroy from both the astral and the physical realm or something. And what did Larry's notes say? Sal, I know it's gonna be hard for you to understand. I'm sorry, please don't blame yourself. Please don't blame me. I was lucky to have you in my life. I'm gonna ask for a better brother than you do, and I know you're gonna do great things. You gotta keep going. Keep fighting the darkness. It's coming closer now. I can hear whispering in my hand. It's getting louder. I just need this to end. I can't take it anymore. I'm not strong like you are. I love you, Sally Face, always. So he killed himself. But in a very specific way. Maybe the demon was trying to possess him and then it jumped to Todd later. Whoops. Alright, I get this. Let's go. It's freaky deaky rock adventure. Now, locked, locked. Still gotta find videotapes. Does Larry have to drop down too manually? Whoa, dude. Cool. Hobo. The shapeless man walks in awkward strides. Huh, there's no handle. Now, can we go in here? That's pretty cool. I, I like that little nifty, nifty puzzle doing. Don't think there's anything here though. Was it just for the shapeless man walks in strides bit? That's pretty weird. So 
So the other tape is probably right here. I didn't think of like blotting him out with barrier breaking powers before, so that's how I missed it. Key. Oh, go into the um other room set. Five oh four. Go all the way to this back room. We're gonna need Larry. Yeah. And then tape. Skin. Mumbling. It's not here. She's not alive anymore. And we won't be. We're so hungry now in this skin. This fucking skin. It's so itchy. Why? The skin isn't mine. The skin isn't mine. It's not mine. I guess we'll drop down. Supposed to be any more than renovations, I'm telling you what. Is on the Fritz again? I mean, Evil Cult will then do that. Oh yeah, I guess I don't know. Hmm. Can I play music to this? I'll switch to Larry later. Come on, take a look at that. He was something to it. No one's got like red eyes. I'm just watching white noise. What are you guys doing? We watch TV, but what's the point, really? These shows are all the same. Everything's become so predictable. Oh, the TV's off. Are you two alright? We're fine, Sal. Just fine. Everything is peachy. Okay. I'm almost feel like we should just port cement down in that cultist store. At least it would delay him for a little while. Alright, let's bring Larry. Man. I wonder if this is what the widow really looks like. Hey. Hang in there, dude. Well, we dispelled the sound. We didn't dispel the stuff encasing you, though. Shit. Are you two okay? What the hell is this? Mom? Henry? If you can hear me, we're gonna fix this. Just hold on. Didn't work on this. Zap this one here. Wait, no, this one doesn't need to be zapped. I mean, I already did. Let's see if when we zap this stereo, if anything different changed. Hey, it sounds normal. Did she not accomplish anything, though?
I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna zap it. So something can happen in the hallway. Ah, you have to zap those, zap the source. And then the TV becomes normal, see? They need no instruction to know how to rock. Let's look at these places with Larry first, because it seems like Larry is, has to be the one to activate puzzles, per se. Remember what the hell happened to you? Look like shit, dude. Dom isn't killed. I can say the same to you. How did- Wait a minute, how are you here? Same as you. Dead. No, I mean, how are you in this room? The spirits here should be confined to their place of death. Danny should be here, but it's too late. I was too late. She's gone. All the old souls have assimilated. Rosenberg. Like, broke the spell that was holding me in the treehouse or something. I'm not really sure. You know what happened to the other ghost? Does it have to do with the cult? Doesn't matter now. Nothing does. I just need to wait here until it takes me. It's the fate we all face eventually. It's not too late. So I was gonna stop this thing, and I'm gonna help him do it. Your efforts will be wasted. All who died in this place need not see seek redemption, but it's lost to us forever. Zap. Ooh, 404. Whoa, this is bad. This is where we found the tape. Maybe now Sal can grab it, I'm assuming. Switch off. And we transported it to the real world, yeah. Oh, we missed one. Probably in the part with Larry. These ghosts, so full of life. Strong, healthy blood, tender meat. Oh, how we crave their flesh, that they deny us. Soon, soon we will be there, and they will have called, and we will have answered. The floor is moist. Is this me? There is nothing left. We have consumed. I had a feeling when I had a free roam, there was a hidden tape there. I should have went for it. Dang my... I was trying to be sensible for once. This is what happens when I don't become a loot hunter. Oh my god. I guess this is what they meant when he said he was leaving. Next floor. Take Larry down first. Scout out. Stereo. I have to figure out which one is the... Draws out the beast. We'll come back to that. Oh my god. I forgot how weird your place was. Maybe Sal's gotta be the one to like do stuff in this world. You know, everyone seems relatively normal here. 
Salifrace, it's good to see you. Hello, Sal. What is happening? Greetings. I'm glad you can make it. I can't sit for too long. I'm sort of in the middle of something. Good to see you all, though. Are you guys feeling all right? We're just dandy, bud. Everything is peachy. You should stay, Sal. Yes, it would be best for you to stay here. There's no use in fighting it, my friend. Uh, I really should be going now. Everything is fine. Don't worry, Sal. You will see. Put to the white noise. Maybe they both gotta be aligned. Must look far beyond the anguish of life, deep into the true nature of all things. Therein lies our salvation. Okay. <laughs> Larry handle this. Zap. Switch. Ah, almost. Get your damn giant enemy sword out of here. This ain't RPG. Super Mario RPG. Chug. Wait, what? Hey, the pony. Dark pony? Ah, huh. there's no door here. Interesting. So why were you guys transparent and not blacked out like the others? Chuck, how are you feeling, buddy? Don't bet your eyes are bloodshot like the rest. Feeling. Yeah, there's uh, something going around. I think it'll be cleared up soon, though. Soon. Yeah, just keep an eye on Soda, okay? Soda. Your daughter. Remember her? She's sitting right next to you. Maybe it means actually your fervor progressed, like you were simulating already. Interesting. Can't unlock and you don't exist for anyone else. Yeah, see when we fixed it now it's normal music in that station. Next floor. Packerton's own place. Locked. Todd's. Whoa, you look even more stoned than usual. Before the light, there was darkness, that's nothing more. Bathroom's locked. And we can't even go to the other room. All right, Larry, come over here. First things first. There's some kind of goo lock on it. Interesting enough, the thing is not working on it. Man, you've been gooed. Well, this opens it up for Sally Face anyway. Is 
which is Sally. We gotta plunge her up the black goo. Now, maybe we can pick up something in the astral realm in the bathroom. Something floating in the toilet. I guess I should. Ah. Uh, goo key? Quite literally a goo key. Secrets? Puzzles? Come on now. Come on out. I'm looking for the puzzles. Hmm, keep you here for a moment. Let's come Sally face in. Empty. See where we got the thing that was in here. Probably have to actively on this side. No! Huh. Maybe it was in this room he had to do something. Yep. Okay, we should be all good now. Zap. Let's rock. Almost. Your skills can tar here quite mighty mortal. But can you beat this next song? Locked. Chunglies. Not Chunglies, uh, Charlies, rather. The dark ponies can become useful here. Switch to Larry. See, interesting, another thing. No door, because there's no reason to enter it. I have brought the dark pony. Do your worst. Tape. Rage. Why do they torment us so? Slipping from our grasp, these filthy falking pigs, they are swine at the feet of God. Animal corpses dragging their claws about and scurrying across the dirt, rearranging things, always rearranging. We will annihilate every molecule of our pitiful existence. Ooh. One more tape left. Rosenberg's locked. Mr. Gibson's. Hello, Mr. Gibson. Ah, uh, there's a rancid smell coming from her room. Larry, come on in.
Oh, we can just blast one off the bat. Hmm. I mean, I did get an effect, but... Alright, let's do this. And then maybe there's a tool in the other so we can break the lock. That's right. Get out of here. Addison's place. 104. Yeah. Carrot. Random. you do with the carrot? Some kind of joke. He can enter in the void? Maybe I don't want him to enter the void yet. Letter exactly the one that my dad used to have seems to be out of place here. Hmm. That was really random. Alright, last videotape. Oh god, you're a full Lovecraftian beast. Does I want us to play this one? I was wondering if there would be a special cutscene we got them all, but I guess not. It's just lore inherently. Hmm. We went in, they disappeared. A young boy stands at the threshold of oblivion, mesmerized by the eternal abyss. Tormented and bound by the world of mankind. Mr. Addison, oh, that's what you look like. Prisoner of flesh and bone. Terence. How long have you been like this? Maybe I should have went to the other room next to him first before coming in here. Whoa. Did the cult do this to you? The child does not choose his own fate. It has always been this way. You will soon ascend the true harmony of the Endless One. Are you the Endless One? Why are you infecting the souls in this building? Darkness moves through all things and obeys our will. We are the everlasting. We are beyond death. Terence, I know you're in there somewhere. We have to stop this. You speak the name of a child who is no more. Your struggle is meaningless. Then I will stop you myself. You will try and you will fail as it always is. Yeah, this was the climax. I probably missed the videotape. Zap! I've been training for this day. Zap! 
how a rock unironically compels you. Oof, that was a close one. I gotta work faster in this next one. No, I failed. Okay, I gotta go back to the next one. I think this is going to be the last one right here. Yeah, it was a simple pattern. It was just a lot of them. We're just going in order. Zap. Mr. Addison? I've been waiting for you, Sal. I knew you would be the one. I knew from the moment I saw you. Terence? My apologies, good sir. I haven't been quite myself and I've caused so much pain. Is it over now? Almost. I'm afraid there is one more task remaining and it's a hideous one. Whatever it is, I will do it. Whatever it takes to end this for good. You must kill all those who have been tainted by the dark. But that's everyone in this building. Those are my friends and family. You've cleared the darkness from the souls. You've already saved them. I'm afraid it's too late for them, Sal. The souls are destroyed beyond repair. If left unchecked, the shadows will seep through these cracks and many more lives won't be extinguished. My heart weighs heavy and sorrow for you. I know you will lose everything just as I had many years ago. I don't think I can do this. Please don't make me do this, Terence. It is your choice to make. I know it's an extraordinary burden to bear, but I also know that you will do the right thing. I... I mean... I don't think we are a murderer then, even if it's the right reasons. Whatever it is the right reasons. Could just be getting fooled, playing into the plan. No, the Phantom says we need to do it. That is, that is right, Sal. This must be done. I'm so sorry. I wish there was another way. Oh no. Miss Gibson. I don't feel well. Would you help me get to my apartment, Sal, please? Oh my god. I always had a feeling this was gonna come down. It just... It's just the mask. The mask kind of always foreshadowed. I think that Sally face was gonna be doing this. Sally face, have you seen a little Todd around? We need to talk to him. Rest in peace. I don't think there is peace here after this, so. Murder friends. Hey dude, glad you decided to come back. Now we can really get this party started. You have to do it so brutally in each one. Murder David. Hey, yo, Sal. Are you feeling all right? Or did something going around? Well, we didn't have to murder the doll. No! It's 
Sally face, can I wipe on your shoulders now? Oh no. I, I could see why Ash would maybe testify against Sal when this went down, actually. <laughs> Murder Robert. Looking a little worse for wear. Everything okay? Like, if she vaguely didn't believe in some of the stuff anyway, then, you know, I feel like this would be a hard pill to swallow. Hey, kiddo, there's some leftover lasagna in the fridge if you're hungry. You know, I may not see this enough, but I'm proud of you, Sal. You've come a long way, I know it hasn't been easy. I look at you now, and I'm excited about the man you're becoming. I think you've got a bright future ahead of you. I really do. I love you, buddy. Oof. Oh no, it's depressing. Knife kill. Todd? No, you have been possessed all along. Something is wrong. I blocked down the treehouse, woke up to the temple. They had me tied down. There was something else there. I think it was the demon. They cut me and took me some of my blood. There was a loud sound. I passed out again. When I came to, they were gone. I was untied. I don't feel right, Sal. I think I'm dying. Sal, you gotta complete the circle. Feel the follow through. That was the problem. The one person he spared was the one he really needed to kill. It was around 3am when I got the next phone call from Todd. He was crying so hard that I could barely make out what he was saying. I knew Todd and Sal were in trouble and that they were at the apartments. It sounds serious, so I called the police and rode over there right away. I got there just as the police showed up. On my way to the front door, I saw Todd running into the woods. I called out for him, but he just kept running. I approached the building and Sal was standing in the doorway covered in blood just staring out. He was mumbling the same thing over and over. I had no choice. I had to do it. There wasn't any other way. I tried to talk to him, but he was unresponsive. The cops pulled me away before I got any closer to him. Sal is an evil man. He's not a bad person. He just needs help. Dr. Enon, you've held Mr. Fisher's psychiatric assessment during the time in prison. Including several months of therapy sessions, is this correct? Yes, that is correct. I thought you died. But what have you concluded from your time with the defendant? Well, the trial could be taking place before that event. Unless you're a fake. It's my professional opinion that Sal Fisher was perfectly sane and was 100% lucid while he proceeded to murder the occupants of Addison Apartments. The elaborate story is conducted simply that a story. I tell him to make him out to be a hero rather than a villain. He was so convincing that I even I began to believe his story. I went to the apartments to visit the treehouse as Sal requested. There was nothing there at all. If I had to fair look into his story, the more inconsistencies there were. These inconsistencies along with all the contradictory evidence proved to me that Sal was not delusional but simply lying to protect himself. You're a fake. This whole thing is a sham. In your opinion, is Sal Fisher a threat to the public? Absolutely, without a doubt. Members of the jury, have you reached a verdict? Yes, Your Honor. We have reached a verdict. In the case of Sal Fisher vs. the country Knockville, what say you? The members of this jury find the defendant guilty of first-degree mass murder. I grieve the jury on the verdict of the guilty because of severe crime committed. Death penalty. I hereby send the Sal Fisher to receive capital punishment. No! You can't do that, he's sick, he needs our help! Okay, so Ashley didn't betray me. Order, order in the court. So does, uh, wife wasn't home. So she wasn't caught up. 
figures later. As she tried almost every way she could think of to prevent Sal's execution and failed with each attempt. Now she sits in the living room as the news reveal that today Sal will be executed. A deep sadness washes over her. As in that an idea comes to Ash that could change everything. But she'd have to act fast. Larry, are you there? Please do. If you're here, then show yourself. We need to help Sal. He's in trouble. I brought some of your old music. If it doesn't work, then this is the last time I'm coming up here. Larry? Sup? I'm dead. Holy. Walking. Shot. Hey, Ash. You guys were telling the truth this whole time. Well, yeah. Duh. I knew it. I had my doubts, obviously, but I really, really wanted to believe it. Just don't fall out of the treehouse, okay? Huh? Never mind. <laughs> How are we gonna help Sal? Oh, I have a plan. Just hold still for a sec. Shy, that's bright. Damn. Hopefully this is pre-Photoshop. Yes, I got it. Please have nothing happen to you in the way there. I just want a happy ending where Sal and Ash go off into the sunset. No cults. He needs peace. Oh, I'm actually manually driving. Weird. So this would be where the start of the game is. The very first episode. I'm afraid you're too late, honey. They're strapping him in now. Wait! Who's telling the truth? I have proof! Please! You have to wait. Just let me show you what I found. Let me see if Sal dies here. It's supposed to be a time loop shenanigans. Hey! Hey, wait! No. No! The time of death is 6.43 p.m. So, oh god, no. To be continued. I'm gonna say either Astral Realm is gonna be the next chapter. Uh, maybe a mixture of playing as Ash in the real world, kind of like the Larry Sal dynamic. Or there is some kind of inverse time thing, because it does seem like there is some time shenanigans going on.